The head of the UN mission in South Sudan, David Shearer, has described the lack of information about the situation of some 20,000 internally displaced people on the west bank of the Nile in the north of South Sudan as a real problem. Mr Shearer was making his first field trip to the town of Malakal after taking up his position as UNMIS head four weeks ago. UNMIS believes that the 20,000 people have fled towards Kodok from Wau Shiluk, a town eight miles north of the UN base in Malakal on the west bank of the River Nile. On Thursday, UN peacekeepers attempted to carry out a foot patrol to Wau Shiluk, but were prevented from doing so by government SPLA soldiers located at the town. A situation Mr Shearer described as very frustrating. We want to find out what has happened to those people, he said, and provide them with assistance if they need it. We're trying to get out as much as we possibly can. We're trying to move to those people in, in, in need. Right now we have a real problem um, on the west bank of the Nile where the Wal Shaluk area where there's 20,000 people have have fled uh, that area of Wal Shaluk and they're, they're moving to another village. Uh, we, we tried this morning to get across the river with a small force. Unfortunately, uh, the, the SPLA are not letting us go into Wal Shaluk. Uh, the only thing we can do is to try and push as hard as we can so we can get our forces over that side to be able to provide some protection, but right now we can't. Meanwhile, UNMIS has described government relocations by air of internally displaced people through Juba into Malakal as unsustainable if they're not also supported with humanitarian assistance on arrival.